everyone, it is Friday here at Craft Clutch, and that means it's another Coaster Friday, and it is a cold, cold Friday here. It was 14 below this morning when I got up and I had to go out. That was without the wind chill, so I hope it's warmer where you're at, but I'm saying let's just stay inside and craft today. Today we are going to do a coaster with a feather. I've never put a feather in resin before, so it will be an experiment for all of us and I am going to be doing a peacock feather. Now I have these peacock feathers from Moonlight Feather. Go to their website, they have all kinds of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful feathers and I had to, if you look at one of the other ones, I had to trim it down a little bit. And I had to do that because otherwise it was too big for the coaster mold. So I trimmed it, and originally I just kind of trimmed it that way, you know, as you, as you would, and it looked like I had a haircut. But then if I went this way down and trimmed it that way, then it gave it a little bit more of a natural look. At least I think it did. So that's a little tip. And I'm going to kind of look at it and trim it off. Just kind of cut it. I have prepared the resin already and it's the Easy Cast. And if you want more information about Easy Cast, go to www.eti-usa.com. I have links to where you can buy it on my website under products I use. Otherwise, you can get it at Michaels and Hobby Lobby. And if you do that, don't forget your coupon. And you can get it at Resin Obsession also. All right, and I am going to then pour in my resin. I'm not doing a background on this. I kind of debated whether I should or not. And ultimately I decided not to because I didn't want to take away from the feather. And not having done it before, I just I just thought let's stay simple with it. We can always do another one with a background if, if we want to. So get that resin in there. And take a lighter. Pop all the bubbles. And then I'm going to take my feather and I'm going to dip it into the resin front and back. And then I'm going to put it down and let it sink. I'll help it with the skewer stick, help it go down. And then I'm going to take the skewer stick and kind of separate some of the little feathers, parts of the feather. So it looks a little bit more natural. And it did definitely darken the feather. So you want to keep that in mind. And I don't know how that will turn out in the end. But we will just have to wait and see. Now I'm going to come back and double check on this every once in a while. Just to see if it ends up floating or if I get a bunch of little bubbles. But right now it's completely under the resin. So I can just let this sit for 12 hours and we will come back and unmold it. I'm back to unmold the peacock feather coaster. And here it is. It looks pretty nice. Um, you can see it from both sides. Not that there's much going on on the back side, but here it is on the front. And you can see the eye and everything. All I do want to warn you is when you are cutting it off on the bottom, just be aware because every piece that you cut off, a piece from the side will come off too. So you don't want to cut it too far up or otherwise you're going to lose all of your pieces of the feather. So I hope you like it. Remember, if you like crafting, throw me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Happy crafting and thank you for watching.